Okay, upon a request from Robert, 33, my Italian friend, in 2 microsecond. This is uh, uh, yeah, 2 microsecond per division, the sine wave. The top one is the voltage and the bottom is the current. Which equates about uh, 2 microseconds per division, so it's roughly 8 for a so-called sine wave. The oscillation starts at 6.88 volts. Current is about uh, 3 and a bit ampere. I did apply cooling on it um, for a long duration one which I'm going to try out shortly. So the oscillation of the device starts at 6.88 volts. I'll show you what happens when the voltage gets reduced a bit. Um, I'll just do that out of hand. You get noise and nothing happens. So I ramp it up to about 12 volts or so. There's a bit of noise on the sine wave. So it's now up to 14 volts and we're going quickly up here. The ammeter sits on 7 ampere and we got about 13.7 volts on the circuit. Um, the MOSFETs stay cool, pretty cool. The time at the moment is uh, 15.41 so I'm going to give it a duration test for say half an hour see what happens. So if I go to uh, 5 micro you get of course a different sine wave. But yeah, there's definitely a bit of noise in the actual uh, thing. The thing what I did find is uh, the best is having the sensing CTs on the oscillator side. So the MOSFETs, the two purple wires are the drivers. So this is my LED light on off indicator. And the other one, that's why I sense the current, just uh, one turn, one through the gap in a resistor of. Uh, 390 ohms straight on the oscilloscope and the other the voltage is checked from both terminals you get a bit of heat here I'll just turn the light off and it's yeah, definitely glowing bright orange here at the moment this is just the uh, same nail as used other time I just let it sit there for a while and see what happens I did tidy up my DC supply so I've got the very exiting here into the 240 to 24 transformer with the DC block on that side so yeah, that sits just here on the side. And that other very accurately controls my soldering iron for which the temperature device doesn't work, so but that's okay at the moment. Current is more or less nearly 8 ampere. At 13 volts it yields about a 100 watt heating load. Okay, 10 minutes passed. Voltage has dropped to 12.8 a little bit. Current sits just at under 8 ampere. Light is still on. Uh, let's feel the MOSFETs. Yeah, a bit warm. Not hot, just warmish. Inductor is fine. Capacitors are cold. Interesting, I noticed on the sine wave that the first two signs are very clear. They're very sharply delineated. There's a bit of noise on the second wave, and the third wave is a lot of noise. So don't know what causes that, might be some oscillations or whatever, but yeah, it's still working fine, so. Oh yeah, I forgot to show, this was the little transformer I built prior, but it didn't work, so that was 6 plus 6, and uh, into a ferret uh, toroid, and then uh, output call into another call. I did also with less turns, but not uh, working that well. I need to document this reading, the lower register 6499.4. Interesting the way the numbers line up on this one. Let's see if it actually clicks. Talking about clicking, my Sangamo S uh, 3.309.2 is about to click over too. Little tip, there you go. It's just about to go load, it's very light on it. Nice and hot. This glowing looks actually very cool. We are um, 14 minutes in the test room. Sitting on the curry point, I think. Yeah, this sine wave makes it a bit more um, visible, the drift somehow. I don't know whether it's the oscilloscope or it's the 
circuit, I don't know, somebody who may know, just drop me a comment on this uh, video, that would be appreciated. Sixteen hundred. Okay, this is the current capacitance, uh, 1,376 nanofarad or about 1.4 micro. I've ramped the voltage up a little bit to 13.5 volts. That is should be about over 8 ampere now. Uh, the MOSFETs, yeah, they're fine. They're warm, but not hot. Turn the light off, then you can see the glow better. The glow is quite good. So it's going for 20 minutes and it hasn't uh, blown anything up. I'm not going to push it harder, no need for that. It will probably work at a higher voltage, but at the moment I'm satisfactory with the results. And uh, yeah, I'll just uh, do the half hour test. Cooling fan is a 24 volt fan on uh, 20 volts. Yeah, it's warm, that's alright. Push the voltage up a bit more, 14.7. Current must be about 9. I need to get another DC meter for this. Um, the capacitors are fine. Definitely the sensing CTs on this side of the circuit don't get warm. When they're going on these wires, on the oscillation part where the capacitors are, 10 capacitors in a working circuit, they create a lot of heat. Just a thing to take into account. Half an hour and we're still in business. Um, slowly I've ramped up the voltage. 15.2 current must be about 9 ampere and this is running quite nice actually Just increase it probably a little bit more that looks pretty good again the top one is uh, voltage the bottom one is current uh, 2 volts per division so top one peak to peak is about 10 volts peak to peak, and the bottom one is, uh, what is that, about 3 to 4 volts peak to peak. Just across the dropping resistor. I'm pleased to the MOSFETs, they're doing well, not overheating. I notice these little condensers, the 220 nanos, get a little bit warm, but yeah, just lukewarm. That's still pretty good. And uh, yeah, we're sitting 15.8 volts. So quite happy. Thanks for watching. Um, this circuit will at least will work for half an hour. There's no major stress. Uh, it will work for uh, hours on, on go. This was everything. If you push it hard things will blow up. Um, I work now, I'm gonna work now on a uh, 4 mils fat bridge. And uh, yeah, we'll get a video posted. Uh, it's some stage. Okay, time is 16.13. That's me for today. Thank you.